Testing one, two, three. Got to always get those tests in. Well, it's funny you mention that, Zap, because uh, whatever spicy things we pull, we are indeed giving those out. What's up, Rumble Rocket? Oh my god, I can't wait for Uprising either. We're going to crack some packs here in about uh, two, three minutes. Two to three minutes. I myself am feeling a little bit of the fear of missing out. You know, that FOMO feeling. I'm feeling it a little bit, but I know it'll come soon. Soon, but not soon enough. All right, I think I'm good. You guys good? Y'all ready? Wanna open some packs? Boom, let's open some packs. Press the transition button. Come on over to here. What's up, how's it going? Happy Friday, it's Friday, right? I've literally lost track of the days. Days are relative to me. I am on summer break, and therefore I have no clue what's going on. 
All I know is I wake up and I take my family places and we do fun family things most of the time. That's that's what I am doing my summer. Uh, by the way, everything we're about to do today is put on by the wonderful folks over at Tabletop Gaming. They make this really cool board game and card game magazine. They reached out to me. They were like, you know what? We see that you like flesh and blood. We like flesh and blood. And you know what we want to do? We want to get together, send you some boxes, and crack open some packs. They were like, do that. Have a good time. Let people know that we like flesh and blood and that uh, they have some cool flesh and blood deals. In fact, if you uh, pick up a tabletop gaming subscription, it's a magazine. Magazine, sorry, I was uh, trying to find a good spot to sip water. It's a magazine that's all devoted to board games, card games. And you know what? They actually asked me. They followed up after the package arrived. They're like, hey, did you uh, actually open up the magazine and take a look? And I said, yes, I did, because that's actually the first thing I did. I love magazines. Is anybody else this way? I love magazines. Here's why I love magazines. I think magazines take me back to a time when I was a preteen to a teen and I would get a monthly uh, video game magazine. Uh, just an old magazine called Game Informer. And I absolutely adored getting that each month. In fact, it was really sweet. It was my aunt. She would bring, she, she maintained a subscription to that magazine, she would bring it to me, and every time she brought it, I was always so hyped, and I would pour over it. So I got this in my hands, and uh, I just did the exact same thing I did when I was a preteen. I just poured over it. I just looked over the pages. I uh, I like read some of the articles. Uh, I looked in the back because the back has like um, where is it? Not these. Not these. Not these. Uh, like all of these little like snippets on different board games and things. Poured over it. This just took me all the way back to, like, uh, preteen childhood, and uh, I was really pumped and kind of surprised at how much I had forgotten that I liked um, magazines. And it's funny because nowadays I don't really, like, get into video games as much as I did when I was a kid, but I am definitely <laughs> into tabletop gaming and, uh, obviously, card games, and this is uh, pretty awesome. So check them out. Uh, they sent me two boxes with which to open. And so I'm going to open said two boxes, and uh, then whatever we pull, I figured I'd just give it to you guys. I thought that'd be fun. I think it'd be nice, because they just uh, very graciously gave it to me, so why not pass it on? So if you would like a crack at whatever we open, Majestics, Foils, uh, Legendaries, if we're that lucky, maybe the Fable. If you want to crack at that, all you got to do is hit the little, little like and subscribe thing. And then leave a comment on this chat or in, in the chat or uh, on this video if you're watching this after the fact with your favorite class. That's it. It's pretty easy. Favorite class. That's all you got to do. And you have access to all of uh, whatever we open today. So check that out. And thank you very much, Tabletop Gaming, for allowing us to uh, hang out together. Maybe not personally in the flesh and blood, but, uh, you know, viewing some flesh and blood. I think that's pretty cool. And this is the pack that came with the magazine. Should we open it first or last? That's the question. First or last? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna wait until you tell me. Dash is your favorite class. Dash is pretty cool. Nowadays, Dash is pretty cool, especially with the changing of... Uh, Dash does count. With the changing of the meta, as I click some buttons, this meta is going to change greatly Especially like Blitz meta, I should be saying. Blitz meta is going to change greatly with the uh, difference and the change in uh, power levels. And the suspension of one Crown of Seeds. And I'm really deep down hoping that we nail a Crown of Seeds in one of these packs. I think that'd be so awesome. That'd be so fun. That was like the last... Um, I think it literally was the last Legendary I got from this set. Pretty sure. Pretty sure it was the last. Let's let's find a good... That looks great. Does that look great or what? Don't say or what. Whatever you do. Don't say... All right, here we go. Let's open this one up. I'm going to do this. you got to build the suspense. All right. So this was the pack that was attached to the magazine. And I was really just, like, tempted to crack it open the moment that I got the magazine. But I think it's going to be more fun this way. So... Uh, I forget the pack trick for this, so we're just going to flip it. We're just going to flip it and go. Got the Heaven's Claws Blue, the Entwined Lightning, Winter's Grasp, Autumn's Touch. Hey, look, Autumn's Touch is back, everybody. 
Remember Autumn's Touch? You can now play that again. We've got Weave Earth. We've got a nice red flash. Oh, <laughs> in the pack attached to the magazine is a foil blossoming spell blade. How cool is that? That is a pretty cool card. Remember, if you would like a foil blossoming spell blade, uh, which honestly, I'm not going to lie, that's a really pretty card. If you would like that card, you just got to like and subscribe and do that stuff. And then leave a comment. Leave a comment with your favorite class. Get together with other people that like your favorite class as well. And then once you've done that, you can like hang out as friends on the internet. People do that, right? I don't know. We're going to do that. I'm going to do that. All right. I accidentally put this card in a perfect fit sleeve. Who's going to yell at me? Anyone going to yell at me for that? Sorry about that. Okay. We have an entire box, and then we have another entire box. We're going to open it up. We're going to see what's inside, and it's going to be a good time. So what did everyone think of the ban and restrict... Oops, that, that ripped. What did everyone think of the ban and restricted announcement? Sound off in, in the comment below or in the chat right now, depending on where you're at. What was your opinion? Uh, what do you think? We should probably, like, slide this on over. Oop, don't cover up the old scarlet picture. Perk fits are banned in Blitz and CC. Ouch. That would not be good. Breezy, it's always nice to see you. Breezy, are we going to hang out sometime, like, maybe even tomorrow? Flip. I should count this time. One, two, three, four, and then five, and then a rare, and then a rare, and then a foil banned card. Hey, this card is banned again. Man, this is the this card gets banned so often. That's how you know it's good, right? Okay, so there's the token. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the uh, thing. So it's seven. So what would I do? I'd, uh, oh, no, I'm not supposed to count the number. I'm supposed to count the, uh, I can count backwards. It's fine. Mechanologist, your favorite class as well? Really, Jackalope, Dave? That's two mechanologists. Welcome surprise, says Playtime TCG. I agree. That's a good way to put that. Okay, so if there's seven... Then we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the front. I think that's how that works. Let's find out if we did it correctly. Looking at all the cards. Boom. Here we go. Climbing towards the rare number one, Weave Earth, followed by a Flash Freeze. We've got a Majestic Flash Freeze and a Foil Frost Thang. Not a fan of legendary gear suspension, but you know that now. You know what? I understand it. Here's the thing. I, I was thinking about this maybe like a month or two ago, and I was like, you know, we haven't had a legendary gear uh, suspended, and I wonder what the general consensus is going to be when that happens. For me personally, I don't mind it because I think uh, Crown of Seeds is definitely one that's deserving of it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is definitely deserving of it. It is incredibly powerful and one that just makes, like they said in the article, I really do think it makes play patterns overall a lot more unfun. It makes um, just, it's so advantageous to run it like you would never unrun it, if you know what I mean. Weave Lightning. Ooh, Blue Glacial Footsteps Foil. Cards are good in foil, man. Set had some good foily cards. Some very beautiful foily cards. It's only in Blitz, so you think it's okay? I agree. I also think it's okay. Prison is my favorite, but still wanting to try everyone. Trying everyone, honestly, is a really good idea. I'm not going to do the pack trick. I think the pack trick is cool. I think it has its place. But we got two boxes to crack. Hang out with. Foil Winter's Grasp. We've got a Cracker Jacks. That's fun. Cracker Jacks. You know, um, if they have... A foil in this, or it's like a, a, a foil equipment, like a legendary. It shows up at the foil slot, right? Or does it show up in the equipment slot? If an L was suspended in CC, it would be a bigger deal. I agree with that. I think Blitz would have to be liberal with suspension just because of the nature of the format. Totally agree with that as well. First edition or unlimited? This is unlimited. And by the way, this was sent to us by Tabletop Gaming. This box and the box after it. Ooh, beautiful chilling ice vein. Uh, both were sent by Tabletop Gang Gaming, the magazine. And if you would like the cards that we're opening up here, any of these hits, then uh, feel free to just do the old like, subscribe thing. I feel like it's the easiest way to track stuff. And then leave a comment. Comment with your favorite class. You know what? I saw recently, and maybe I should try this. 
Can anyone? Well, really, Breezy's got the skills. Ooh, hey, look, Awakening. Anyone think that card's good? I think that card's good. We have the uh, nice little Rites of Lightning as well. Rites of Lightning closing us out. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I want to put... I want to put a poll. I want to put a poll. So I'm going to pause right here. Oh, no, it's another perfect fit. Gosh dang it. These perfect fits in these, like, regular penny sleeves got all mixed up in the same, like, little package. Uh, and uh, now I'm struggling to tell the difference. And I don't feel... I'm too lazy to go through this little pack and take out all the uh, perfect fits. Okay, how can I leave a poll? I'm on... Aha, here's a button right here. Ask the question. I'm going to ask it. Is ban uh, the suspension of crown of seeds in blitz cool ask the community boom look i asked a question does it pin i'm curious boop no but i can leave that up just running all right sound off if you saw that Oh, look, it popped up on my side. Can I hide it? Uh, I can click close poll, but that's a bad idea. Which means I'm not going to see your stuff as easily. Ah, oh, whatever. Let's open some more packs. We have three hits so far. One, <laughs> one from the magazine pack. Magazine pack had a hit. In fact, it had my favorite card so far. Blossoming Spellblade. Um, I recently, well, not recently, about a month ago, I revisited Briar. And I put together a Blossoming Spellblade list, and I never really got it to where I wanted it, which made me a little bit sad. But I kind of want to just keep messing with it. I kind of want to keep messing with it. Wow, 14 votes already. Can I... Do I have to vote? If I if I click vote... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does it show me what... Uh, oh, okay. There's yes and very yes are both winning. I should have put very no. What was I thinking? If I click close poll, will that like... Um, hold on. I'm going to click this button. Did that break it? No, it didn't. Yes. Okay, now I can see. Unsure how to start the poll. No, I got it. The new Corsham Belittle Briar is actually really fun. I got to try that. Corsham Belittle Briar. You guys see that Belittle is not in the uh, format either. Uh, in Commoner, I should say. Autumn's Touch is back, though. Everybody get hyped. Autumn's Touch is here. Everybody's excited for that Autumn's Touch to return, right? I know I am. I like Autumn's Touch. In fact, Autumn's Touch in Blitz is in that um, Blossoming Spellblade Briar. Suspend Crown in Constructed Cowards. <laughs> I like that. I like the cut of your jib. No, actually, I think it's okay. Whoo, yes, let's go. Tome of Harvests. That card, real good. This card made some serious waves in the uh, footage at Pro Tour 1. Like, very, very high-level play of uh, some of the Starvos. I really enjoyed that. That was awesome. Ooh, a beautiful Rites of Replenishment. Very cool. I like Tome of Harvest. Anytime I can draw cards, come on, let's go. Draw cards. Let's do it. I will take up some cards and draw them. It will be fantastic. I hope we get a Rampart, but I no, I, I think I, I would prefer the uh, Crown of Seeds more. I think that'd be, it'd be so perfect. It would literally be the perfect timing. Shout out in the chat what you would like to see opened. Frost Fang, Ice Quake Foil. A lot of these um, cards are starting to really see some improved playability thanks to Icelander, which is fun. I think it's fun at least. Earthlore Bounty Tome is good. Yes, it is. I agree. New Horizon, that would be a cool pull. Will we get any... Oh, look at that. You get a, just a double ball lightning red pack. Talk about a seal pool. That's what you want to see. That would be sick. Got a foil burgeoning. Nothing going there. It would be sick. What was that? What was that weird coloring? Ah, it's Thump. That's a card I spoiled. As a Lexi player who's opened 10 boxes of Tails and only sealed seen shields... You would like to see New Horizon. All right, just for Hakai 14. We'll do it. I vote New Horizon. Everyone wants New Horizon. Okay, this is the pack where we um, talk about New Horizon, and it doesn't happen. It's exposed to the elements. And a fancy blue polar blast. Put that in your 
in your Icelander deck. Give it a shot. Give it a whirl. See if you like it. And then take it out when you realize you don't like it. Nothing wrong with that. Testing. That's what, that's what you do. New Horizon would be excellent. Man, another perfect fit. I need to go and get more penny sleeves. They're like behind me. New Horizon would be excellent. And someone would get that too. That'd be exciting. It'd be really exciting. Anybody that leaves a comment is ready. There's a couple people that have done it already. Chill to the... Whoa. Oh no, it's just the angle I held it at. For some reason, the angle that I held this chill to the bone at like looked like it was ripped. That was weird. Looked like there was a tear in the foiling. <clears throat> Got Rampart out of my first ever box of Fab. That's sick. You know what else is sick? In about a week, U.S. audiences will get their hands on Uprising. That's sick. Okay, so if you didn't see, Fluke and Box, a fantastic dude who, uh, ooh, Foil and Tangle, very cool, uh, who cracks a lot of boxes, does some, like, box break stuff. He uh, has a fantastic playmat. He opened 44, I think it was 44, all said and done, boxes on stream. I watched a decent portion of it. I didn't get to watch all of it. But he opened a lot of boxes. Should we try to go for that? Electrifying foil. Plume of Evergrowth. Ah. Uh, should we try to do the same thing? That'd be insane. I don't even know where we'd get all those boxes. I would need someone to, like a store or something, I guess. Maybe that's what they do. I, I think that's what Fluke did. A store, like, um, like hooked them up with the product that they were going to like pre-sell anyway. Oh, look, an Oaken Old. How cool is that, man? Oh, look, a foil lighted up? Dude. That's sick. Oh my god, that's sick. You know what? Um, I Okay, so this is weird. I have been watching... <laughs> I, I, this may be embarrassing, I'm not sure. I have been watching uh, a lot of, like, Pokemon unboxings. <laughs> my kids are into Pokemon right now, and so, like, I'm also, like, playing it alongside of them. I've been watching a lot of Pokemon unboxings. That's beautiful, light it up. That is a good pack. I agree. And uh, so PokeRev, the Pokemon YouTuber, does a lot of unboxings. He's doing a live stream right now. Yeah, they were pre-sold, pre right? Okay, he's doing a live stream right now, or maybe it's over, where he's not stopping the process of opening a box until he opens every card in the newest set, in the Pokemon Go set. And I think that would be really fun. <laughs> that would be really fun to do with Uprising. Be kind of nasty. Can I leave a comment if the live stream is still going? Yes, because uh, the answer is just leave a comment in the live stream chat, and that counts. We got six so far, six majestics. Look at us go. Yeah, just commenting in the chat here is totally fine. A couple people have already done it. That's what we like to see. No problem with that. What if we did that with Uprising? What if I just got so many boxes? No, I can't afford that. I can't do it. Stir the Wildwood into the Honing Hood. But how cool would that be if we just we just got so many boxes that we did not stop opening packs until we got one card of every type in the in the set. Actually, that would that would be really bad. That would be really bad because then we'd have to go for one of every Marvel. One of every, like, alt cold foil. Hey, look at that. It's back-to-back. -back. Summerwood into Summerwood. Open until you run out of money. Uh, that would not take very long. That would not take long at all. Please talk about what I think the new CC meta will be. Don't know what CC deck to build. I think there's going to be a lot more openness. I think it's going to be um, aggro characters are going to uh, have a lot more flexibility now that they're not running into... Uh, Starvo, which just, oh, tear asunder, which just tears them asunder. Um, that's nice, right? <clears throat> so there's going to be a, several aggro heroes that have a little bit more leeway, uh, including things like Dash, which should be interesting. I think, at least. We'll find out. Was this stream planned? Yeah. But I didn't make a little upcoming stream thing about till about, like, two hours ago. Take out a loan to open boxes, man. No problem. That wink, that wink was no. As in, I would, uh, I would not like to do that. I would <laughs> very much not like to do that. 
Uh, we haven't gotten anything too crazy out of this box. But uh, there's still time, I guess. There's, what, like three packs in there still. If you, by the way, if you want any of these, do you think Briar and Icelander uh, and good picks for... Wait, wait. Do you think Briar and Icelander and good picks for brand new players are good picks for brand new players? Uh, I think Briar is a fantastic pick. I think Icelander is a possibly good pick. Um, I think Icelander is going to probably struggle into some of the aggro matchups unless we really figure out, like, um, the way to control the board state. It's just she's kind of taxing. Controlling the board state, dazzling crescendo, beautiful. Controlling the board state's a little bit tricky. A little bit tricky. Chat with the best financial <laughs> advice. Um... Because you have to use cards to, you know, play on your turn if you want to, take some cards out of their hand, play on their turn by arsenaling. I think arsenaling, like, zero costs is probably your best bet so that you don't have to pitch to pay for things. Right, so we got the old thump, and then a nice little amulet of ice. All right, last pack, last pack. Magic right here. It's this one. It's this Lexi pack. Icelander will be complicated. I'm, I'm not sure complicated is necessarily the case because I do think she is just fundamentally fairly easy to pick up. I think, I think that it's it's just one of those. It's kind of like Bolton. Bolton is resource hungry with his cards. I think she's the same way. Oh my God! Hello, what a way to end it. Last pack, magic. Foil Channel Lake Frigid. Wow, look how beautiful that looks. That's incredible, man. Foil Channel Lake Frigid. That's a solid box. Is there a specific way the card packs come uh, that cards such and such could be a rare or foil? Yes. Um, they think they run in this one. They run like five uh, commons uh, at the front that are like... Um, talent in nature then they run uh two rares and then or it could be like one rare slot one rare or better slot and then one foil slot in the uh, unlimited packs look what we got we got ourselves it's not kano complicated no channel lake frigid foil we've got a terra sunder we've got an oak and old a foil light it up which is beautiful exposed to the elements we have tome of harvests awakening Flash Freeze, and we have the Blossoming Spellblade. And again, this was not from the box. This was from the first pack that was attached to the magazine. If you're just joining in, this uh, entire thing is being put on uh, by me, but also by Tabletop Gaming. They sent me two boxes, and they were like, hey, have a good time cracking these. Uh, do something fun, and uh, tell people that uh, this magazine that we're putting on is doing like a fab special thing. And they are. They're doing a fab special thing. If you, uh, if you pick up a subscription to this magazine. By the way, also, this magazine is super fun for um, anyone that likes hobby games and like uh, board games, tabletop games, trading card games, things like that. Uh, they're doing a thing where like you, you get a box of tales. Which is pretty cool, man. It's not a bad, not a bad little gig. Not a bad little deal. And uh, if you would like any of these Majestics, or heck, I may even send the foils to someone, uh, leave a comment in the comments section or here in the chat as we crack open these two boxes. Second box right now. And we will uh, just leave a comment saying what your favorite class is. And I'll go through and I will reach out to people with my own comment. With my own, I would probably be behoove you to join the Discord. I would say that. It would behoove you to join said Discord. Uh, and I will attempt to post the link to the Discord in the chat right now as I click some buttons. And uh, we'll be able to run with it. Most people think that, uh, most people think that it's okay to suspend the Legendary. That's interesting. Wizard is the goodest class. I do think Wizard is a fantastic class. I am a big fan. I'm a big fan. Click this. We do the invite people. We get the uh, copy. Wait. I don't want this to expire in seven days. I want it to expire never. Boop. Can I pin this? I bet you I can. If I click this button right here. Pin. Did I do it? I think I did it. I think we did it. Do you play Flesh and Blood online? If so, do you ever play with viewers? 
I do play Flesh and Blood online. And uh, I've never set up like a, hey, I play viewers kind of thing, but I think that'd be fun. I voted yes only because it's Olden. You, that, that's a fantastic reason to vote yes. It's a fantastic reason. Here we go. Continuing on. Let's see if we get anything good. Looking forward to start playing for the first time. Bought a couple of boxes of the new set coming out. Is there a box that would complement it? Uh, that's a great question. Um, Wizard, Illusionist, and Ninja? Everfest, perhaps? Everfest is a fine one. Crucible of War. I think both of those sets. I would buy singles. I think for this set in particular, it just is better for you to buy singles of the hero or the class that you like from this set. We have a Bolton Shot, followed by an Evergreen, followed by a beautiful Foil Weave Earth. Nothing else after that. First pack down. Get the tree. Dude, I would love that. I've never opened a Corsham. I need to open some more Tales of Aria first edition. Anyone got some tales that they want to like uh, sell me? Probably. <laughs> Probably do. Uh, there's a lot of tales out there. A lot of tales. Hey, here we go. Entwined Earth. We got these Snapshot Yellow. Ooh, and a Sting of Sorcery. That majestic, looking scary. Arcanic Shockwave. And the old plume of Evergrowth. Buy all the cases. Yeah, I would buy I would buy singles of um, of whatever class kind of really sticks out to you. Because each of the classes in this set were released in a different set from each other. With uh, Ninja releasing in WTR, the first set. Um, Wizard releasing in the second set. Illusionist releasing in the fourth set. Doesn't make sense to buy one box for like all the heroes because you're not going to get that value. So instead, pick a hero, find the set that they're in, dig into that set, like the class that they're in, dig into that set. We have a Sigil of Suffering followed by a beautiful Foil Flash. And then you can buy singles as well or buy singles instead. Uprising is going to be fun to crack. Guys, show of hands in the chat, who wants to open Uprising? <laughs> me i want to open uprising i'm raising my hand you just can't see it my hand is raised i am so ready to open uprising we're gonna do a uh, an, oh, oh look another awakening we're really good at pulling awakening beautiful lightning surge to follow that as well the old ragamuffin's hat i have uh, been converted into playing ragamuffin's hat almost exclusively almost exclusively in the old kano just makes sense most of the time. I am probably coming off of it in the mirror, though. I think uh, I was running into the mirror, and uh, there's there's other options to run in the mirror that I, I think uh, could be interesting. Sunday, two boxes. Looking forward to it. Show of hands. I'll open anything if you put it in front of me. That's what I like to hear. In Australia, open some. Get out of here, Herbert. That's incredible, man. Congratulations. That is an incredible hit. I wish I were in Australia right now so I could open Uprising. One day. One day we'll do it. It'll be there eventually. Until now, or until then, I should say, I am living vicariously through others opening their product. I think what the, the toughest thing is seeing people's sale posts. That's what's really getting me. It's like... Oh, man, I would like to own that card. But then I'm like, oh, man, I'm just going to open a bunch of boxes here pretty soon. Oh, man, what do I do? That has been my mentality for, like, I don't know, a week. So 10K, we're doing the alpha box? Yes, we are. We are opening um, an alpha box as a pack thing. I would like, I mean, I still deep down want to just like selfishly open an, uh, an alpha box for myself, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that is in the cards, as they say. Uh, it is going to be a lot of fun, though. It is coming soon. Look at look at the number above my head. Look at that. We're almost halfway to 10K as far as starting at 9K. It's pretty good. Share this video with your friends or something. I don't know. Do that thing. Either way, we're going to get there eventually, and it's going to be a fun ride while we do it. Uh, and we will celebrate the milestone that I never expected. I got a little emotional earlier. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, was talking, I was talking with my wife about it. And I never expected to actually ever see this milestone get to this point. Which is kind of fun, kind of cool. All right, we got to get something good in this pack, right? Nope, nope, we didn't get anything good in that pack. Nothing, nothing. 
pulling me a heart of fiend all this time. No, I'm gonna give that to someone else. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna find the pack. I'm gonna repack the heart of fiend all. I'm gonna gift it to someone. That's the play. That is the play. I think this time I'm gonna buy in myself. I think I'm gonna buy into my own box break. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Maybe I won't. I'll leave it for other people to enjoy. I'll just be the person that opens the packs. Biting Gale, explosive growth. Frazzle. Oh man. These packs. They are not giving us anything good. Is there going to be cake? Oh my god, it should be cake. There should be cake. Okay, we've opened in this box, we've opened two majestics. That's what we've gotten from this box. This has not been a good box. Not good at all. Let's see what else we can get. By the way, again, if you want any of this stuff, just tell me what your favorite class is in a comment or in the chat. And I will revisit the uh, amulet, foil amulet. Get out of here right now with that foil amulet. You hate to see it. You think I should buy in. Everything is at the bottom. It's about to pop off. What, you think I should buy in the alpha break? My own alpha break? What's going to pop off? I want to know. What's going to pop off? Did I miss it? Something's going to pop off? You know what? Believe it or not. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Where my phone at? Wait. Hold on, everyone. Something crazy could be a brewing. Wait. Wait. Hold. Hold. Don't be the guy at Helm's Deep that lets go. Don't be that guy. Hold. Hold. Okay. All right. Continue. You love you some Ranger. I like that. I like, we look at that. We just sat on the Tome of Harvest. You love to see it. Oh, look how pretty that is. Wow. That's incredible. I love to see that. All right. Pow. We got to sleeve that Tome of Harvests. Someone could hit that Tome of Harvests. I think I'm going to, maybe I'll group these up in little packets and give those out to people. I think that'd be fun. Little random packets. A couple Majestics each. A couple people get a couple Majestics. Just for fun. Just for free. Electrify. Oh, uh, what's the thing you were holding for? Nothing. I had to check something. Weave Earth. Hey, another Majestic with the Endless Winter this time. Got the uh, Cold Foil. And I don't mean actual Cold Foil. I just mean that it looks really cold. And it's foil. See how cold that looks? It's, critic it's ridiculous. Going to be going with Dromai as I bump the mic for your first deck to build. Hey, I built a Dromai. Um, not classic constructed, but I did in Blitz. I have it sitting on my desk. In fact, I think I need to contact Kel because he wanted to play um, some, like, Uprising. He wanted to, like, jam out a game or two with just, like, what we have, like, rares and commons. And I was like, that sounds fun. So I built Dromai, common rare. Uh, I have another we another amulet, another foil amulet. You hate to see it. Stealing the foils. Actually, that one's really pretty. Look at that, just the shine on it. I like that. This, man, this box, not so hot. Not looking great. Got the old four Majestics. I think we're halfway through, though. So maybe, maybe we're on point. We're on track. On the way to picking up something good in this pack. This is the one right here. Rare. Summerwood Shelter. Nah, it's just a dazzling crescendo. Man, I'm telling you what. They really killed it with the foils in this set. I think the foils really pop. Can you have that foil amulet? Yes. And in fact, I'll sign it for you. I did that at Christmas time. You guys remember that? Anyone that's a patron uh, got a set of foil amulets from this set. I went out and I, I went to TCG Player and I bought all the foil amulets I could find and uh, I signed them and then I sent them out as Christmas gifts. I thought that would be fun. So now you can play an Icelander, you can play the uh, Amulet of Ice. You can do that. I gotta set that aside. This is for Rumble Rocket. Boom. Amulet of Ice is his. Ready to go. And Autumn's Touch. Get hyped, everyone. Autumn's Touch back on the menu. Ice Quake, followed by the old Biting Gale. We're going to find something. Like, a, I don't know. I think we just need a Legendary. I think we need to get take a Signed Lake Frigid. Oh, that would be pretty cool. Signed Lake Frigid would be tight. That one 
You may get, I don't know, you may get that. Maybe I'll just be like, yeah, do it. Signed Lake Frigid, boom. Just pump that in there. Flash. Ice Storm. Hey, I got this in um, in a sealed pool at uh, Vegas. Card's not good. <laughs> All that build up. Card's not good. Uh, it was plus three. I, I got plus three on something. I won that. I won that. What? Some cards are signed. Yes, by me. I can sign any card. Look, I can even sign this uh, Ice Storm. Am I going to? No. Unless you asked. And then I guess I could. But yes. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Gosh dang it. I think a random signed Briar would be fun. I could write something on it. I could write something on it. That'd be fun. Break ground. Here we go. Hey, guys, I spoiled this card. That was a fun spoiler video. I sang in that video. Bolton shot. Embolden. Embolden Bolton shot. That's like a tongue twister. Embolton shot. Lightning surge, Cracker Jacks. This box has had multiple uh, foil amulets. It, we have hit five Majestics. Uh, none of these are foil, though. We're going to have something spicy here. I have a feeling. I've got a feeling we're going to have something good. Otherwise, this is going to be a huge dud box. We'll find out. And if you're watching live, you're the best. If you're watching after the fact, you're still awesome. Turn timber. Chill to the bone. It wasn't in that pack. There was nothing special in that pack. Uh, write the new wording on the Briar card. <laughs> yeah, I could. Scratch out. So what? Yeah, like, okay. Now I'm going to have to dig and find a Briar. Nope. Um, where's a Briar? Got to find another token. I've been putting them back and forth between the, the stacks. That seems like a funny idea. So now I want to dig that out. Where, where is it? Where is it? Oh, here's a Lexi. Oh, no. Rag them up. No, it's, it's not on the back of it. Okay, we'll find it later. We'll open one. We'll open one. <laughs> what would it take? I would just need to scratch out some words. Just scratch them out with, like, magic marker. Crayon. Get a crayon and scratch it out. <laughs> that would be funny. So it's five. Yeah, it's five comments. Then we have Evergreen. Oh, we got a nice little Oaken Old and Twine Earth. It's a beautiful foil. I will say this. I think they uh, they went darker on the colors with the unlimited printing. I think it serves well. It serves it well. We have six Majestics. And this uh, foil amulet. Where is it? The rocket. Ah. All right, the new wording on the Briar card. I gotta do this. We gotta find a Briar. Is it right here? Dang, how cool would that be if that were Briar? A Briar, and then the other side is the Rosetta Thorn token. See, like, look at that. That looks so much richer. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Ooh, there's a foil majestic tome of harvest with the boom oh man I'm telling you i love that card card is insane card's super cool and i want it to be a thing everyone play a tome of harvests in your oldham deck so that i can like oldham because right now the way he's going got my eye on him not a fan guys we only have two packs left this is depressing Got a bit. This box has seven majestics. That's at least good. I want use whiteout on a briar token. I want. Oh look, it's a it's a cracked bobble. There's no chance that briar's on that, right? I want to see if we can get a legendary. What if? What if this is the pack? What if we just pull one right here? Frostfang. Dang it. <laughs> All right, we have one chance, one pack, one opportunity. It's going to be in Briar's pack. Aw, oh, come on, everybody. Put what legendary you want to be inside here in the chat, in the comments. Do it. Come on. Which one do you want to be in here? Last pack magic. It's going to have to come down to this. We have seven Majestics. There's a chance. Something good. Rampart. We're going to do the pack trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is If this pack trick... I'm just going to do that just in case. Crown is, is what I just desperately hope for. Footsteps. Get out. <laughs> That's not possible. But is it? Could be. Corsham would be sick. Never pulled that card. 
Maybe I should open more tails. I feel like I should open more tails. I would just need someone to take all the bulk. Can someone take all the bulk? Here we go. Lightning press. Snapshot. Oh, it's just a turn timber and a Sutcliffe suede hides. No last pack magic for us this time. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see <laughs> a seeds, uh, crown of seeds make an appearance. But we did get some sweet stuff to give out to people. So if you want any of this stuff, first of all, I'll say thank you to uh, Tabletop Gaming because they uh, provided this to us. But look at these pulls. That's not bad. Let's, let's organize them. We got two Tome of Harvest. I think we got one from the other box as well. So we're up to three. Uh, we've got uh, two. Let's see. We got three Tome of Harvests. That's pretty good. One, two, three. One of them foil as well. Not two. Yeah, just one foil. We got uh, Oak and Old. Got Ice Storm. Got a Sting of Sorcery. We got two Awakenings. I believe just two, right? Yep, two Awakenings. It's pretty cool. Someone can get an awakening. We got Endless Winter. Flash Freeze. Kind of uh, underrated, perhaps? I don't know. Maybe not. Exposed to the Elements. That card's pretty cool. This foil lighted up is beautiful. Terra Sunder. And, of course, just some random card called Channel Lake Frigid. And it's shiny. And then, finally, the old Blossoming Spellblade, which is pretty cool. So, if you would like to get your hands on any of those, just from me to you, I'll cover the shipping and all that sort of stuff, you just get some cards and you say thank you to Tabletop Gaming for sponsoring this fun little outing together. Oh wait, I have to sign this card. Ah, oh, where's my Sharpies? Don't worry, I'll sign it for you after I find my Sharpies when I clean my desk. <laughs> wouldn't you know, uh, wouldn't know what to ask for but looking for illusionist type cards. Uh, well, the bulk here isn't going to give you illusionist cards, which is kind of unfortunate. You got, we did get some Oldham, Oldham Spice. It is uh, it's some pretty good Oldham stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. We're going to do this again. In fact, we're going to do this very soon. Because what we're going to do is just open a lot of Uprising. Like a lot of Uprising is going to get opened here. A lot of Uprising. Hype for Uprising. Thumbs up for Uprising.